What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? This is Phenomenal Hair Care. We want to thank you for dropping by our page. Um, we are one of the prominent unknown products in the customer brand, but very well known by stylists. Um, we basically uh, run to uh, our marketplace on a weekly basis, service our clients, get them restocked. And um, uh, stylists we find have a tendency to do routine uh, work on a regular basis that they are comfortable with doing, but somehow, sometimes miss out on uh, just little details. And I think these details would be noticed as um, more often when they're in their beginning stages. But as they grow, they somehow miss them in, um, in work through the challenge that might be, um, might be being created as they work and just see it as uh, part of the workflow. And what I mean by that is, a, a, we'll, we'll kind of break it down re really quickly. Um, there was a client that had a lot of hair. It was beautiful. Uh, but at the same time, it had its challenge with the porosity because it, were, it was repelling the water to a point. So what we suggested is that you try the fuse detangler. Now, fuse will detangle anything. Um, from a dry state to a wet state, it doesn't matter. Uh, Takedowns, uh, uh, dreads, we got it. Fuse will do it. But you might have to be heavy-handed with it, right? So on that note, um, the best way to explain this is that uh, when the person got, when the stylist got their client to the chair, she sprayed fuse on the bottom section or bottom panel, you know, separating the back, lifting it and having that bottom panel on the bottom. Uh, spraying it, she found that she combed through instantly and it made the hair a little softer. Now. Um, working her way up, we found that halfway up, she was beginning to get challenged and the tangles were not coming, uh, uh, being worked through with ease. And it hit me that the reality is that the hair is dry. Like when she started in the back, it was wet. But the rest of it has now become dry as you're working your way up and so instead of thinking hey I need the moisture of the water in the detangler to create the slippage and the detangler to be able to close down the cuticle as it runs through the hair I need water the client just the stylist just kept on spraying more product and I was like that doesn't really help the problem because the problem is you it, the, the problem comes from or the answer to the problem comes by adding a light mist of water on that shaft so that the uh, leave-in when it hits has the ability to slide through opposed to just being sucked up and um, or of that note if not being sucked up just being um, repelled per se because it's not allowing it to suck up because it's kind of bouncing, um, it's kind of running off. So it needs a combination of a mist of water. You can't put it on dry hair and expect to tangle through dry hair. You can, because it will do it on takedowns, but you've already shampooed this hair. So the, the challenge of you taking more time and pulling through hair um, is kind of useless, especially when you found that when the water was on the hair, you can comb through and have no hair loss. And that's the most important factor because when you're working through the tangles is when you're getting the hair loss. So, um, very simple detailed situation, but I think as a client, who's as a stylist, when they're detangling you, um, they don't seem to think about, um, as they're working their way, their way up, that the change is happening from wet to dry. And so by the time they get to the top part of spraying, <clears throat> spraying detangler as they go, 
if they're spraying by panel opposed to all over and combing through all over at once, um, by the time you get to the top, it's going to be dry. And depending on the porosity that you're dealing with, you're going to be in the same uh, in the same boat that you would have started at when it wasn't shampooed. So I guess that is um, one thing that we uh, want to offer you guys today as a tip for even if you're at home and you're working on your own hair or you're working on your kids' hair. Um, keep in mind that the the hair is changing as you're working your way up. And if you're five minutes in and, that's, and it feels different, then why not make it feel the same as when you first started if it was easy when you first started? So if five minutes ago, you know, you got a lot of hair and it's really thick and full and five minutes ago it was easy to come through and it's not easily come through now, the, the, the key is the conditions have changed. And what was wet on the bottom the, the, well, it was wet on the bottom. It's not as consistency. This, this consistency is not wet on the top. It's drier. And um, I think the problem is, is as it's drying, the client, the stylist feels, or you at home feel that, oh my God, I'm not supposed to be wetted. Um, yeah, you missed the hair. You missed it. Not drenching it, but you missed it. Because you need to have that balance of that water for your product to work and slide through. So hopefully this tip really works for you. Um, I think we try to make things as detailed as we can and as clear as we can. So I think that this is as clear as we can make it. But um, we hope this actually helps you. And, um, you know, if there's any questions, any ideas, any thoughts that you might have, um, you know, shoot us up. Uh, you can get us on our website um, or you can contact us on our Google page. Um, you know, either way, it's phenomenal hair care or phenomenal hair products. And um, reach out to us if you have any questions. We will definitely get back to you. And if you need to call, call us and we'll um, pick up and go from there. And peace.